Hey hey, welcome back to the channel, it's awesome that you're tuning in, because in this video it's going to be Mario Kart time. Absolutely, because we're going to take a close look at this hoary Nintendo Switch racing wheel. In my previous video we talked about that really dirty cheap one for a couple of euros, but I just wanted to check out how is this Pro Deluxe from Hori. I've reviewed a couple of products from Hori, if it's arcade sticks, but also when it comes to other products, and I must say that I'm always quite intrigued by them, and this looks quite nice, but also very the looks but let's take a close look what are the features and what can we actually do with this we do have extra buttons on the wheel itself it's going to be more convenient to play with racing games that doesn't support the pedals but also having real shifters so that's quite interesting so let's take a close look at the product itself and let's do a quick unboxing and of course let's break the seal together the first thing that i just wanted to check out is this thing going to be any worth the money because you do pay like way more than when you're looking at like the cheap one it is based on Mario Kart and the question remains is it even playable and usable for different products and of course I mean with products I mean games the instruction manual will give a quick explanation how the wheel itself works but we do have the suction knock option I really like it because if you have a good surface it works very well but this thing also comes with a bracket that we can attach it to the table we've reviewed the other ones back in the day for the PlayStation 4 by the way and I really liked it for what it is Inside the package, first of all, we're going to do a quick unboxing, more like an unboxing inside an unboxing. But here we're going to get the brackets. Yep, it's all made out of plastic. The bolt, of course, isn't from plastic, it's from metal. But the bracket itself is all made out of metal. Here you can see it comes even with some extra rubberized feet on it. It's very nice, so it gives a very good grip. The pedals, the pedal, let's put it to the metal. And I must say that they look quite nice. And they also have different springs, so for the brake and for the acceleration, we do get different springs in the inside. We can fold it open like that, and it will be so much better to play like this. So it's even compact. If you don't want to use it, you don't have the room, or you don't want to use it at all, it's all up to you. The racing wheel. The racing wheel itself, I must say that it is a very huge wheel compared with the previous one. It doesn't have the 900 degree rotation, so it's going to be old school racing like in the 90s. No rumble and also no force feedback. The USB cable that comes with it is, by the way, very long. But what are we actually going to get with the racing wheels? It's quite similar when I'm looking at the cheap one. We have the option to assign buttons if you want to. I think it's a very cool option to give you this. So if you have problems setting up a game, we have the option to do it through the assign button. But other single button, yeah, feels quite cheap. It's just your normal, typical, like cheap button feel, but nothing special or nothing bad. So what I did notice, there is no horn button in the middle, but we did have with the cheap one. Beside that, it does feel very nice when we play around with it. But when you're looking at the shifters, they're also made from plastic. Then of course, we having the special switch that we can switch between the D-pad, left stick and the right stick. Very convenient if you don't have any movement in the game itself. The body is made out of plastic, it feels also quite lightweighted, but yeah, there is no force feedback in this, so that's also the reason why. But let's take a close look at the bracket. So what you need to do, attaching it is super easy, you just need to put it down there, put the bolt in and that's it. You can tighten it up and it works very well. The construction they have chose for this, I have seen it with the PlayStation 4, but also with the PlayStation 5 model, and I can tell you it works great. Putting the pedals in is easy with this old school telephone cable. Just plug it in and that's the only thing you need to do. Plug in the USB cable in your docking and your Nintendo Switch. I must say that, wow, this is really tight. And that's it, we are ready to go. Let's tighten up the racing wheel in this right position. You can also use the suction knob if you want to, don't want to use the bracket itself. But the bracket is super convenient and works very fast. And that's the way I need to assemble the wheel itself. But how does it work with Mario Kart? Let's talk about the game that is basically like made for. Of course, everything has been mapped plug and play. So we don't want to mess around with the presets and stuff like that. Everything works fine. And you have like different ways to play. For example, acceleration can be done by the pedals, but it can also use it when it comes to the wheels itself. What I did like is the buttons on the wheel itself are mapped to the power up. So this is a super convenient to play. And I think it's pretty damn cool, to be honest. It's in Dublin, just a different way to play, and in my opinion, you need to get used to it, especially with a wheel. But then you're going to get the hang of it. It's going to be in way more fun to play than with a controller, in my opinion.
But let's take a close look at Team Sonic Racing. And with Team Sonic Racing, I've been messing around with it a lot. Finding the best presets so we can actually play the game. You know, the stunting, that is something we cannot do because we don't have an analog stick on the controller or better said, the wheel itself. So we cannot fully completely play this game. So it's just going to be a mixed experience. But what I really noticed when it comes to the dead zone with this game, it's absolutely horrible. The dead zone is huge, so it's absolutely impossible to play this game normally. But with CTR, there we did have some surprisingly great performance. Okay, so it's kind of interesting when you're plugging in the wheel itself, the acceleration has been set to the left pedal and the right pedal will be for power-ups. So it's a kind of interesting new way to play. Wreckfest is absolutely one of my favorite games to play when it comes to racing in the Destruction Derby. And this game has a quite interesting overall performance. And I mean, when you're plugging it in, it works quite nice. Maybe you need to mess around with some settings if you want to get the acceleration and brake on different positions. But this is what I really like about the Deluxe Racing Wheel. We have acceleration and the brake on the wheel itself, and that is super convenient. WRC8, a game I just picked up and I just wanted to see how it actually works because this is a very cool racing game or better said a rally game that we can play with the racing wheel. So out of the box when it comes to the shifter that works just fine. But unfortunate I didn't have a great overall experience when it comes to everything when it has with the preset. So I needed to mess around and try to get the acceleration working. Pressing the button over here, here we can map it to the A and the handbrake will be also disabled. Otherwise, we're going to not start driving at all. So it's just something I just wanted to do. And what you can see over here, the brake, but also the acceleration seems to be working fine now. And have been left get to have been right. I'm just going to be honest, I am not good at these ready games, but with a dead zone that huge, it's absolutely impossible that we're going to actually enjoy this. But besides that, some of the games are not playable. Maybe that is the case, but I must say that I find this racing wheel really great compared with the other one I've reviewed here on the channel. So where this racing wheel is dedicated to Mario itself, I think there are a couple of games you can still play and really enjoy. One of them was Crash Team Racing. Let me know in the comments what you think of a racing wheel like this. Would you consider picking it up? Consider subscribing, hit the little bell. Thank you for watching and it will be great to see you in the next video. And don't forget to hit that little bell.